Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a leak code problem, number 58, length of last word. This is an easy level problem. I want to solve it in JavaScript. So we're giving a string S consisting of some words separated by some number of spaces. Return the length of the last word in the string. So we can look at an example here. We're giving an input of S, which is a string, and it wants us to return the last word, the length of it. So the last word is here, world, and the length of it is five. So we return five. And it's, tr it's tricky when it asks for, it could be separated by some number of spaces. So it could be more than one as well. So there's a clever way of doing this rather than what I originally thought was that you just split the string into an array, separate it by space, and then you return the last length of the last index. And then to cover up these edge cases, you need to do a trim as well. But when you, whenever you do the trim, you're creating a new string and it's gonna be O of N. So there's a clever way to do this with o, only O of one. I mean, when you create a new string, it's O of N space and time. But there's a clever way of doing this where it's only O of one space. And that is by doing a backwards loop. And then we're gonna loop backwards. We're gonna do two loops, but it's still gonna be O of N. The first loop will be when we hit a letter, a character. So we're gonna loop through this. If it spaces, we keep looping it. And then once we hit a character, we're gonna begin the next loop. And we're gonna loop this until we hit the space or we end the string. And we're gonna keep a word count during this. And then if it's not a space, we increment that and we return the word count at the end. So as the pseudocode for this algorithm, the first thing we wanna do is create a, a variable. So create last word count. I wanna set that equal to zero. And next we wanna loop loop backwards S. And then in this, we wanna create a condition if current character is not an empty space, not a space, let me just do a space. Want to loop backwards from current char. And then we want to create a condition. Condition if current char is not a space, we want to increment last word count. And then if it, we do hit a space, we just return that last word count. Else return last word count. And there's also one more edge case, and that is when we loop backwards, but there's not empty space. We could say that there's, there's just one word in it. So we can just return last word count after the loop and that will get that edge case. So to put it in code, first we create the variable that last word count and set it equal to zero. Now we loop backwards. So for let i equals s dot length minus one, s is greater than equal to zero. Sorry, i is greater than zero and then i minus minus. So we loop, loop backwards. We can look at this example, loop backwards until we hit a character. So if s index of i is not an empty space, we begin the second loop. So for let j 
equals i. So we start at where the i is. So for this, we'll start here. j is greater than or equal to zero, j minus minus. Now we check the same condition again, if, but for j, s of j doesn't equal an empty string, empty space, we increment last word count. Else, so if we do hit an empty string, empty space, I mean, we end it, so we return last word count. And now we have to deal with the edge case. So if we finish the loop and we hit at the end of the string, we just return last word count. Great, now let's run it. Nice, we got it. So for the time and space complexity of it, we can see here that we are looping through S, the string, and then we're doing a, a nested loop, but it's not really, um, we don't do it for each one of it. We just continue the loop again. So it's still gonna be O of N. Cause we can just, we're gonna, cause the second loop starts where this one ends. And then the space complexity, We're creating a variable here and that's an integer and that is it. So it's gonna be O of one. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you so much.